A voltage-regulated device designed to maintain a constant voltage level to a certain accuracy level. Usually, an integrated voltage regulator, IVR, contains a special reference voltage source, and the output voltage is maintained at the level that is equal or proportional to the reference voltage. These type of regulators are called compensation voltage regulators, and they contain a regulating element, a bipolar or field effect transistor. The regulating element can operate in active, uninterrupted mode, and such regulators are called linear regulators and in switch mode, switching regulators. Switching IVRs have a number of advantages if compared to the linear ones. First of all, their efficiency is a lot higher, because when a regulating transistor operates in a switch mode, its average power dissipation is significantly lower than in a linear regulator. In many cases, because of low heat losses, there is no need to use heat sinks, and in situations where they are indeed necessary, their size can be significantly reduced. Besides, unlike the linear regulators, the switching IVRs support not only the regular step-down mode, but also step-up and invert modes. Let's look at the operation principles of a step-down switching regulator using a simplified diagram. The regulating device switches the regulating transistor, VT1, from the saturation state to the cutoff state with a certain frequency. The pulses are then converted into constant voltage in the edge storage unit containing the inductor L1 and the capacitor C2. The value of the constant voltage depends on the ratio of control pulses, which in their turn is calculated as the difference between the reference voltage and the actual output voltage. Control pulses of variable ratio are generated within the regulating device by a special pulse with a modulation circuit, PWM. The step-up and inverting regulators work in a similar manner and are different only because of the different connection order for the inductor, diode and transistor, due to which the output voltage in a step-up regulator is defined as a sum of the input voltage and inductor voltage, whereas in an inverting regulator, the inductor voltage applied to the output of the regulator through the diode turns out negative. Pulse ratio, Q, is understood as a ratio of the pulse repetition time, T, to the pulse duration. TP. The ratio can be calculated according to the following formula. Q equals T divided by TP. So the formula for calculating the output voltage would look like this. For step-down regulator, for step-up regulator, for the inverting regulator. Foreign literature uses a value reciprocal to the plus ratio due to cycle, DC, which is usually measured in percent. The formula for calculating the output voltage would then look like this. There are also switching voltage regulators, where the energy storage unit is represented by a pulse transformer. The advantage of these regulators lies in the galvanic separation between the input voltage supply source and the load, as well as the ability to obtain several different values for the output voltage. The disadvantage of switching voltage regulators, as opposed to linear ones, is that they have an alternating component of the load current, which is why the switching regulators are not used in analog devices with low signals, or if they are used, they are combined with linear regulators. Almost all today's switching voltage regulators contain a regulating transistor and a regulating device, whereas the diode, the coil and the capacitors are considered external components. For voltage regulators with fixed output voltage, the resistance divider is installed inside the integrated circuit, while the voltage regulators with different output voltages operate with an external divider, with the resistance of such dividers' resistors determining the output voltage value. Due to its high efficiency, application of switching voltage regulators during the last couple of decades has become increasingly popular for electronics designed for different purposes, for measurement instrumentation, communication devices, automatic machinery, PCs and cell phones, to television and household appliances.